Remember that black plastic study that went viral earlier this year? Turns out the authors made a small but significant mistake. Oops, mistakes happen and don't worry, it was corrected. The exposure of the chemicals of concern is less than a tenth of the safe level determined by the EPA, and it was found in less than 10% of the utensils examined. The journal the study was published in, Chemosphere, issued a correction on December 15th, where they had a statement from the authors. Hang on, the correction states that the error doesn't affect the overall conclusions of the paper? What in the conflict of interest is this? The next day, Chemosphere was removed from web of science due to quality concern issues. Just this month, they've retracted eight articles. Remember that study about parabens and phthalates in cosmetics that also went viral earlier this year? Also Chemosphere. At Beauty Sci.com, we reviewed the study and found the authors misrepresented their data. They also used extremely questionable methods, looking at only 14 people for their gene expression results. When reviewed by a statistician, the data did not support their conclusion. However, if you just read the abstract, like so many of the expert influencers who commented on it, you will be misled. This is why critical appraisal of science is so, well, critical? Research integrity is a huge problem and with the way things are going is only set to get worse. There are big incentives for sensationalizing science and this is where the trouble lies. It's not a matter of doing your own research. We all have bias and recognizing your own can be a huge challenge. Trusting the peer review process isn't a catch-all either. Both these papers were peer reviewed by Chemosphere. So what can we do? Seriously, I'm asking because as I see it, we're up the creek without a paddle.